Hello everyone, my name is John. Today I will tell you how to set up an integration to transfer new contacts from Zoho Inventory to Airtable. This is necessary to automatically transfer new contacts from Zoho Inventory to other systems. For example, in Airtable you can add new rows and easily work with them in the future. Now let's move on to the setup. First you need to create a new connection. Next, select the data source system, Zoho Inventory. Now, select the action, Get Contacts, New. At this stage you need to connect your Zoho Inventory account to the Apex Drive system. In this window we need to specify the login and password for your Zoho Inventory personal account. Next, you need to grant Apex Drive permission to work with your Zoho Inventory account. When the connected login appears in the list of active accounts, select it and click Continue. There are no additional settings for the Zoho Inventory system, so just click Continue. At this stage you can set up a data filter, in this case there is no need for this, so just click Continue. Now you see data for one of your Zoho Inventory contacts, if you are satisfied with everything, click Continue. This completes the Zoho Inventory data source setup successfully. Now you need to go to the data destination setting. Select the system, Airtable. Now, select the action, Add Row. At this stage you need to connect your Airtable account to the Apex Drive service. In this window you must specify the login and password of your Airtable personal account. At this stage, we provide Apex Drive access to work with your Airtable databases. To do this, click Add a Base. I recommend providing access to all databases at once in order to be able to work with them in the future. When the connected login appears in the list of active accounts, select it and click Continue. At this stage, you need to select the base in which new rows will be created. Also select the table. Next you see the Airtable fields for creating new rows. You can assign variables from Zoho Inventory to these fields. In order to do this, click in the field and select a variable from the drop-down list. Please note that you can use not only variables from the drop-down list, but also enter data manually. When all required fields are filled in, click Continue. At this point, you see an example of the data that will be transferred to Airtable as new rows with each new contact from Zoho Inventory. If you are not satisfied with something, click Edit and you will go back a step. In order to check the correctness of the settings, click Send Test Data to Airtable. After successful sending, go to Airtable and check the result. If you are satisfied with everything, return to the Apex Drive system and continue setting up. At this point, setting up Airtable as a data destination has been successfully completed, now you need to enable auto-update and select an update interval, for example, once every 5 minutes. That's all, I wish you successful integration settings and good luck!